Human Factor Part 2. That's a surprise. Well, I almost felt it coming. Who would think that he'd check all of it? And by himself. What a real shame this is. At least Mr. Shvedov didn't read our names aloud in front of everybody. But it doesn't make it any easier. Well, here goes my promotion, I guess. Mm, I need to think of something now. Fix my reputation before the new director somehow. He's going to Moscow tomorrow, I think. Now there's an idea. I've been thinking about visiting Lisha for a while now. I'll also get a chance to meet my new daughter-in-law. <sighs> wow. They've got such service on trains now. <clears throat> oh, Andre. Hi, what a surprise. Yes, it is. No, seriously, what a pleasant surprise this is. Pleasant, sure. Why are you sitting back there, so far away? So why don't you get a bit closer to the table? Uh, no thanks, I, I've just had lunch. Well, let's have tea then, with some homemade patties. Look at them, mm, yum. <clears throat> where are you going? What do you mean, where, for tea? Oh, come on, I've got it all. It's all in my thermos, with mint, by the way. Homemade liquor, perhaps, hmm? No, thanks. I'm all oh, right. Oh, come on. You won't say no to a lady. Andre, I'm serious. And also, well, it'd be a lot easier to talk business over a glass. Yeah, what business? Here. Look at this beauty, will you? Have a drink. Don't leave me hanging. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Drink up. Violetta was on vacation recently. Has she gone somewhere again? She's going to Moscow to meet her new mother-in-law. What didn't she like about the old one, I wonder? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The girls kept me a while. Let's go. Anya? Yeah, let's go home. Anya? What's wrong, girl? Anya? Well, thank you for the ride, Andre. Not a problem. Here you I'll go. I'll take that. <sighs> Excuse me, but I'm going to need just a minute, all right? Oh, all right, mm -hmm. sure. Larissa. Oh, hello, Andre. There's no need to worry, this isn't your baby. So you just didn't want my children? Don't say that, please don't. Help you with the suitcase, oh, please. Oh, no, no, no. My son is going to meet me. You've got such a beautiful acquaintance there. Oh, yeah, that's uh, my wife, Larissa. Oh, I see. That's nice. All right, good luck in your trip, then. <laughs> goodbye, Andre. Huh? Yeah, goodbye, thanks. Mom, you have to try the eggplant. Insanely tasty. Thank you very much. It's delicious. How do you like her? She's adorable. Oh. Oh, but she can't cook worth a darn son. But the eggplants are all right, right? 
<laughs> Forget eggplants. Do you realize how unbelievably lucky you got? It's just incredible. Could you even compare Anya to her? Thank God. I think I can finally stop worrying about you. <laughs> and this is her apartment, huh? Mmm. Mmm. Her parents actually gave it to her. She has wonderful parents. Mm -hmm. Just wonderful, really. And she's an amazing girl, my darling. Mm -hmm. I really hope you've already proposed to her. Mom, I'm not divorced yet. Why are you stalling then? Do you want to lose Natasha because of that little village simpleton? Apply for divorce immediately, do you hear Mom. me? Mom. How are you guys uh -huh. doing? Is it yummy? Simply oh. wonderful. <laughs> uh, delicious. The chicken is ready. The chicken is ready, Mom. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I may have burnt it. Oh, come on, Natasha. You're a wonderful hostess, darling. <laughs> oh, my children, I'm mm -hmm. so... I'm so happy for the both Let's of you. Let's make a toast to that, then. Let's toast to that. <laughs> well, then, would you like to try the chicken? Oh, yeah, Mom, here Thank you go. Thank you so much. Your plate, please. Hmm? I already got my salad. Just delicious. Thank you. Excuse okay. me. Hello? I can't hear you. Don't call here anymore. Anya, are you here? Anya, are you asleep? Anya? Are you sick or something? Anya? <gasps> Anya? Oh. Is it because of Leisha again? Come on, tell me what happened. Oh, Rita, I knew he was a coward, but I didn't know how much of a coward he was. You still haven't talked to him at all? <laughs> he didn't pick up the phone for two weeks. And yesterday, some girl picked up and told me not to call him again. That sounds really strange. <laughs> The worst is he can't call and tell me about it himself. As if I'm a meaningless stranger to him. Although that's what I am, I guess. I've been thinking and... And? I'm applying for a divorce. Hmm. You know, you're right to do that. How much longer do you have to suffer like this? Totally right. You're young and beautiful. Time to start a new life. You're a free woman. Yeah, you're right. I've had enough of this crying. <laughs> Time to get ready for work or I'm gonna be late. <sighs> All right, stop. This is exactly where we're going to start. What? Where? We're starting with your appearance. Put this great thing down immediately. Ginger! My pretty baby, my little prince! Look, our Anya's crying. Our Anya's crying. We gotta make her feel better. Let's go and find something amazing for you to wear. Hmm? We're gonna make her a queen, boy. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Good boy. Well, that's it, I guess. Divorce is not a wedding. Not as expensive and not as fun. Andre, I'm, I'm really sorry that all of this had to happen like this. Tell me something honestly. Are you happy? Yeah. Well, don't be sorry then about any of this. You know, it, it seems to me that you've also had some pleasant changes in your life lately though, right? What makes you think that? 
I see it in your eyes. <laughs> There's a special glimmer to them now. That's just the sun. Well? What did I tell you, huh? You look mind-blowing, babe. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure I want to look mind-blowing. No, I'd rather shoot myself than wear this to work. You're wearing it, and you'll be thanking me for it later. Do you know what I look like in this? Like the most beautiful woman in the world. And you're always going to dress like that from now on. Do we have a deal? We'll see, maybe. <laughs> it's totally a deal. It's just me. <laughs> well, darling, do you want to know hey. what I bought? Look, it's tickets. On Saturday, we are all going together to the Jazz All-Stars show. Wow. <laughs> On Saturday? Yes, dear. Um. <clears throat> Lesha, can I talk to you for a second? Uh, um, <sighs> Mom, if you'll excuse us. <sighs> I'm not going to play hostess for your mom anymore. I am done. Is your mother going to live here forever? <sighs> if she really wants to stay in Moscow until the weekend, then let her look for a hotel. Uh, but... This is not a hotel. I just don't know how to tell her that. Uh, you don't know how to tell her? I'll tell her then. N Natasha, please calm down. I'll tell her, but I'll do it later. I promise, yeah? Hmm? <laughs> Mother! What's to explain? What's to explain? You decided to kick your own mother out of mom, the house. Mom, hold on. That's it. M mom, I, uh, uh, listen, I'll get you a room in a really nice hotel. Don't bother, son. Thank you, because I'll never set foot here no, again. Mom, come on, don't leave. Mom, where are you The more often you read the tarot cards asking about a man, the more you actually begin to attract him. This is because when you're doing a reading, you think about it. And what happens is he starts thinking about you as a result, and... <gasps> Hello there. Good evening. Goodness, did you see how he looked at you? Please stop it, Rita. <sighs> Come on, stop being so shy already. New life means a new life, right? You're gonna be divorced really soon, and Andre's not married either. It's time to get out of that rut. Mm -hmm. Is that your big plan for me? You'll be thanking me for this, girl. Anya. Anya! Yes, schedules and reports must be on my desk tomorrow. Is that clear? All right, sure. See you tomorrow, then. Good afternoon. Oh, hello there. Why are you carrying such heavy bags all by yourself? I couldn't find a helper, I guess. Let me help you out then. Here, give them to me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Very kind. Kasha, what are you doing here? I came to see you, actually. What do you mean? I left my wife yesterday. Right. Wait, hold on, hold on. Are you saying that you came back to me forever? If you don't kick me out, yes. <laughs> Violetta, I love you so much. I, I just can't live without you. It took you far too long, Pasha. I understand. I was slow. I should have made up my mind earlier. What are you expecting me to do now? To give you an answer right now without thinking about it? No, of course not. When you're ready, we'll get together and talk. Sounds good. There's charm in these small cities, you know? One hell of a small city, over a million citizens. Well, any city would seem small compared to Moscow, right? Don't get me wrong, I love it here as well, 
people are kinder, and it's calmer to live here. Mm -hmm. The first time I came to Vardonish, I thought it was huge. Really? Where are you from, by the way? I'm from a tiny little city. Mm hmm All right, here we are. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, by the way, has your car been repaired yet? <sighs> no, not yet. How come? It's a half-day job. Apparently, they don't think so at the auto repair shop. Oh, well, thank you for helping me. My absolute pleasure. <laughs> if you need to go somewhere, just let me know. I've got a car service, even tomorrow, if you need it. We need to change it, I'm telling you. It needs to be changed. All right, you guys, you do your job and stay focused. Good afternoon. Hello. We really appreciate that you've chosen us. Really? I don't think I appreciate it as much. Excuse me? I don't understand. What's not to understand? My car's been here a week, and it's not ready yet. How come? A week? Well, that can't be. That must be a mistake. Yeah, there's been a mistake, all right. The big mistake is that my car is still outside. Is this really your car? Yes. What's surprising you? Or does the speed of repair in your workshop depend on the brand of the vehicle? Um, no, of course not. No, sir. All right, let's make a deal here so that there are no issues between the two of us. I'll be taking my repaired car this evening. Is that clear? Yes. Good. It'll be ready tonight without fail. All right, guys, leave it. Get down to it quickly. Don't worry, it'll be done. All the best. You have a great day. Oh, here you are. This is the report you asked me for. Oh, awesome. Cool. Thanks. Listen, when are we going to have lunch? Oh, girl, no, I can't go to lunch. The management is raging. I need to render the quarterly report. I'll be here until late. All right, then. Good luck. Thanks. Thank you. Enjoy. Anya, hey, come over to my table, please. I've got a spare seat. Uh, come on, I insist. Don't be shy. Thank you. Here. Let's see here. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, enjoy your meal. Thank you. The same to you. <laughs> I think the whole place is looking at us right now. Really? Uh, I don't see anything reprehensible about having lunch with a superior. <laughs> Unfortunately, not everybody here shares your huh. opinion. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello? Yeah. Great. When can I pick it up? Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. <sighs> that was the auto shop. I can take the car in the evening. Thank you so much. And how did you know I had something to do with your car being ready today? <laughs> Female intuition. <laughs> but honestly, you have no idea how much this means to me. I'm going to a picnic tomorrow. We've had this tradition since university. Our group gathers together every year. Mm -hmm. And most of my ex-schoolmates have no cars, so this is... Is there no work tomorrow? <laughs> of course not. It's Saturday. Oh, wow. This is what working too much is like. <laughs> uh, where are you thinking of going for the weekend? Me? To be honest, I wasn't going anywhere. Huh? <gasps> Do you want to join us on the picnic? Thank you very much for the invitation. But what would your husband think if I were to go? <laughs> My husband won't think about it at all. He's he's lost the right to vote, you could say. Is it that bad at home? No, why would it be? I think the beginning of a new life is not that terrible. <laughs> So, will you come to the picnic? Sure, I will. But you have to let me drive us there. And I also have a counter offer for you. We should be on a first name basis. Or it will kind of be a bit uncomfortable with all your schoolmates. 
I'm sorry, that might take some getting used to. You'll get used to it. Plus, there'll be plenty of time on our way to the picnic. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Hush. Did you forget? Anfisa wants to make us work. Oh, that's right. But why are you whispering? I don't want to wake her up and sneak out of here quick while she's still sleeping. Yeah, where are you going? To the country to visit my mom. <sighs> I'm going to the picnic with my ex-schoolmates. Did Lover sneak out too or what? Half an hour ago, he took Ginger to the dog show. But he's not purebred. So what? It's a cool excuse. <laughs> oh, girls, you're here and you're awake. That's great news. Listen, girls, the repair work is canceled for today. The radiculitis hurts so bad I can hardly walk. Let's just do it next weekend, shall we? All right? Uh. Uh. <laughs> I woke up so early for no reason. <laughs> Goodness, he's a good-looking man. I wouldn't think he's a director. Oh, if only I was a free woman, my god. <gasps> I'm glad Yurka oh. didn't just hear you. What? Well, forget about me. What are you looking at? I'm looking at the vegetables and thinking if I have enough. So tell me, did you invite Andre on purpose, or do you have some sort of romance? Ira, think before talking. The man is new in the city. He doesn't know anybody. Well, he oh. knows our entire group now but still only looks at you for some reason. She's got a point. Mm -hmm. All right, stop that. We're just acquaintances. <sighs> no, we're just acquaintances, and that's it. But hey, we don't mind. Your lesh has got nothing on this hung. Agreed. What does he have to do with it? Exactly. I always knew nothing good would ever come out of that little mama's boy of yours. Well, I'm not much of a fisherman, really. I'm even ashamed to admit it. I can't even handle a spinner. I mean, I thought the line got twisted, and then there was a fish. Uh, Pike? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me neither. He just looked at you in such an interesting way, girl. <laughs> Why would he be looking at me? Who else would he be looking at? At me? At me? <laughs> at you, of course. <laughs> you were the cleverest one back in high school, and now you don't know a thing mm -hmm. about life? Right. It'll burn, guys, I'm telling you. Oh, calm down. You better go help the girls. No, no, no. no we'll no, do no, it no, on no. our own. We'll do it on our own. You wanted to help us? Uh, look, you need to cut these peppers and cucumbers, and I'll deal with the bread. He's going to start singing now. Irina, you should have made him peel potatoes instead. For sure. <laughs> I would have done it if I knew. Who would have known? Mm -hmm. I swear I would have. Do you ladies like singing? Uh, I actually love singing. You just haven't heard poor Leon try to sing. <laughs> Mm. Well, that's a sad Ooh. fact, yeah. He's a very mm -hmm. good guy. We love mm -hmm. him. It's just as soon as he gets offended, he takes the guitar mm -hmm. and starts playing. He really has no ear or voice. Uh, uh, but we put up with it. Yeah. I see. <laughs> Can I help you tune the guitar? Do you know how? Give it to me. Did you see? The eyes, the eyes, like that on you. We told you, we told you. But it's true. Look. <laughs> wow, can you play the guitar, Andre? Yeah, hey, give me. Perhaps you'll sing for us. A little amateur. I bet you're good. I'm an amateur, but I'll sing. I'm gonna sing something from KSP. What's KSP? Something with consumal communism. Ты у меня одна, словно в ночи луна, словно в степи сосна, словно в году весна. Нет другой такой, ни за какой рекой, нет за туманами. Дальними странами Вот поворот какой Делается с рекой Можешь отнять покой Можешь махнуть рукой 
Можешь отдать долги, можешь любить других, можешь со всем уйти. Только I'm happy you came out. I'm sorry. Have you been bored? Not at all. Quite the opposite. It was like a rest for my soul. Your schoolmates are all great. They're so open and sincere. That's a rarity in our time, mm-hmm. That's right. Today people are always hiding something to try to look better than they actually are, you know? Yeah? What are you hiding? <laughs> I'm one of those dinosaurs who prefers being themselves even if it isn't pretty. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, be careful. We should go back. They're probably, uh, looking for us. Yeah. I think your friend Leon should buy a new guitar. That old one is just impossible to tune. <laughs> What's the point, though? It's not like it's gonna make him sing any better. Well, then we've only got one option. Not to offend him anymore. <laughs> we'll try not to. Hello? Wait, what? Our house is on fire. Oh, darling, how horrible. My God. I woke up and there was already a pillar of smoke in the hallway. Then it spread to the neighbors and two apartments are gone. I told them a million times that the wiring was old, but no one paid attention. This is just so awful. And Rita went to visit her mom. Does she know yet? Anya, don't worry. We took her things and your things, too. We grabbed what we could, of course. They're all over there, sweetheart. Oh, thank you so much for that. No need to thank me. Do you know how much stuff is burned in there? Don't worry about it. We'll provide you with material assistance from the plant. Everything will be all right. Assistance is good, but where are we going to live? Sleep in the street or what? What are you saying? I'll deal with this issue immediately. Ginger! Hello? Ginger! No. Can't find him anywhere. Is he in the apartment or no? Ginger! 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 My ginger! Come here, puppy! Come here on you! Oh! <laughs> Oh, I, I can stay on the bench with the dog for a while. Laura, what bench would that be? The poor dog is going to be homeless. What about us? We're all homeless. All right, sure. Okay, folks, we have the following situation. Here's the deal. Unfortunately, there are only two rooms available in all the hotels in the entire city. Because of some convention that's going on, I, I don't know. So those of you who have relatives, you need to go there, and we'll provide transportation. How will we fit into rooms? There are way too many of us, sir. Come on, Valentina, we'll fit in somehow. Thank you so much. Anya, no why problem. do you need the hotel? Your mother-in-law lives somewhere in town, doesn't she? Uh, Anya, I'm taking you. All right, folks, here comes the bus. Uh, take your things and get settled. Go Come on. on. Okay, go let's ahead. go. Come on, let's go quickly. Ginger, let's go. All right, let's go. Where does your mother-in-law live? I'll take you there. Not far from here, but I'm not going to her place now. How come? It would have felt uncomfortable to talk about my personal problems in front of the neighbors. We weren't getting along well, and now since my husband started a new relationship in Moscow, she doesn't even consider me a daughter-in-law. I see. Let's go to my place, then. Uh, I've got a fairly big apartment. You'll stay in the bedroom, and I'll take the sofa in the living room, and with great pleasure. <laughs> Anya, we don't have any other options for today. Let's go there. Mm -hmm.
Good morning. Oh. Oh. If you're acting so cold and serious, then I shouldn't expect any good news, right? Pasha, it truly hurts me to say this, but I won't be able to start a new relationship with you. I don't want to, actually. I understand. It's not destiny, then. So what are you going to do now? I'll spend a couple of weeks at my friend's place until they finish the new house. Wait, what house? My house. I hoped it would be our house. You have your own house? <sighs> you thought I would come with empty hands, didn't you? I've got a house and I also have a car. I bought tickets to the Maldives. I wanted to give you a surprise vacation. You surprised me, all right. Ah. Right. As they often say, true love can never be forced. <sighs> Goodbye. Violetta. for you. Finally. I didn't sleep at all last night. I'm still shocked about the fire. I know. <sighs> I'm even afraid to look at what's left of the place. We've been saving and gathering for so long and now it's all dust. By the way, where did you sleep, huh? And Fisa said you weren't in the hospital. <sighs> I was at Mr. Shvedov's. You were? With Andre? That's a twist it in the plot. Well done. Did you use the advice I gave you then? It wasn't anything like that. You're lying. Promise. Oh, wow, girlfriend. You amaze me, girl. You were alone in an apartment with such a hunk at night and nothing happened? That's criminal. You had such a chance. <laughs> Leisha? Why are you home so early? Hey, babe. <clears throat> there were layoffs at my company. Well, that's bad news. Are they going to fire you? Yep, they already did. <sighs> oh, man. <sighs> what are you going to do now, then? What could I do? Just look for another job. I'm an excellent specialist. I'll find something in no time. Mm-hmm. Let's start with the fact that an excellent specialist doesn't get fired, and you're wrong to think it's easy to find a new job in Moscow. People look for years. Well, first, I already found a job once. Second, this is not the end of the world. No, I'll just surf the internet for a couple of months and find a job that's just as good. A couple of months? Are you kidding me? Let alone the fact that you live in my apartment, and now I'm gonna have to provide for you? What do you mean? I mean I need a man who will solve my problems, not give me more of them. Do you understand me? This is the problem. We need to make the fire victims settle somewhere urgently. They cannot stay in hotels forever, okay? What if we gave them temporary accommodation at our tourist hostel? Agreed, yes. That's a good idea. Start arranging the accommodations today. But it's all temporary. We need more permanent housing. How's the plant's housing coming along? We're finishing it. It will be completed in a month. No, no. We can't wait for another month. The winter is coming. All right. We need to work harder on this. Have it ready in 10 days maximum, and not a day later. That is a difficult task. Nobody here says it's going to be easy. By the way, we have to give them monetary assistance. People have been left without anything. Valerie, make sure that the compensation is paid as soon as possible. That's it for now. Thank you, everyone. How 
was I to know that he was building a new house? What do you need this Pasha for? You told me he was old anyway. He's old, yeah, but the house Ooh, is new. But don't worry about it, Violetta. Your son is all right. He lives in Moscow. He has a decent job and a girlfriend. Oh, look at this. Speak of the devil. Hold these. Hello there, my son. How's everything going there? How's my new daughter-in-law, the wonderful chef? Mom, I'm coming home tomorrow. You're on vacation, son? No, not on vacation. Forever. I'll tell you tomorrow, right? by. Leash. Leisha. And the bad just got worse. Girls, girls, wait! Do you know how to get to this tourist hostel by any chance? They said they'll be sending buses. But all our things are over at the hotel, though. Well, then we'll go to the hotel first and then move to the hostel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, fine. Let's go. Hey, I'm your girlfriend. We're pretty lucky, I guess. We don't have much baggage. You know, I don't regret anything. Hello? I feel like that fire at our place also burned every part of my old life. All right, come here. All right. Look, your new one is here. I'm leaving. Where are you going? I think I forgot my phone in the office. I've been so darn distracted lately. <sighs> Hello? Hello. Uh, the bus is already here to take everyone to the hostel. Uh, however, I've got an individual offer to make you. What offer? I would like to take you there personally. Uh... You know, I think I better go on the bus with everybody else. But thank you. <sighs> and the phone was in the bag, as it turns out. You amaze me, girl. He offered to give you a ride over to the hotel, and you refused him. Yes, I did refuse it. Because I don't want the entire plan to talk about us. You're lucky. You've got yourself a good man. Let them be jealous. I got myself a good man, huh? Why would you think that he's not married? Oh, come on. Where's his wife, then? Where's his wife, then? <sighs> hmm? I don't know. Maybe she stayed back in Moscow. Yeah, right. She stayed in Moscow. What normal woman would let such a wonderful man go? He's single. Have you seen a ring on his finger? Oh, that'd be quite the evidence, right? Here's the start of our new life. Everything from scratch, no apartment, no belongings. Yeah, and no men. Divorce and back to our maiden names. Anya, hold on, what divorce? What do you mean? Yeah, Anya's going to apply for divorce soon. Oh, really, dear? Unbelievable. My sweet girls, I've got liquor <laughs> for such occasions. It's absolutely delicious cherry. <laughs> My emergency stash, so to speak. All right, Rita. Here. Pour it, dear. Don't be upset about this, Anya. To putting the past behind us now. Your Alicia is going to regret everything you'll see, dear. All right. Let us now make a toast to our brand new life and future. <sighs> no. No, 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 Rita. This is my emergency stash. Who knows what might happen? God forbid it. Come on, Anfisa. All right, girls. Time to sleep. We have work early in the morning. Hmm? Wait, wait. Just one more piece. All right.
Yeah? Hello, Rita. Uh, where's Anya? Uh, what are you doing here? Uh, that's a strange question. I came home. So where's Anya? Um, didn't she divorce you already? Did you say divorce? Yes. I nearly burnt my hair because of that idiot. I'm so excited for the video. Hope I don't get in trouble with this project. And would I be able to get my maiden name back, do you think? Yes, sure. There's a feel for it right there. And what if the other spouse doesn't show up to the divorce? Then it will be done by the book. And if it happens three times, we'll divorce you automatically. Of course, that is if you don't have children or any property claims against each other. Mm -hmm. Here you are, Anya. Lisha, what are you doing in here right now? Well, I wasn't expecting to see you here either. Oof. Application? Mm-hmm. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing? Nothing at all. I'm ripping this up because I don't want to divorce you. <sighs> Anya, there's one thing I'm going to tell you. I love you and I always will. Everything else is just gossip. Gossip? Yes. Your girlfriend made it very clear that I should leave you alone and stop calling you, What actually? girlfriend? I'm telling you once again. I left the phone at work and the guys played a big joke on me. A bad joke? Are you kidding me? Leisha, I'm sick of your lies already. I need to get a divorce. No, hold on. Let's not rush into this, please. Uh, please, just give me some more time and I'll fix everything. There's nothing left to fix, Leisha. <laughs> Anya! And he just had to show up right at that moment. Yeah, yeah. What are you going to do? His showing up won't change anything for me. I could never forgive hmm. his betrayal. That's right, girl. Let him go his way, and you'll go yours. And besides, you've got Andre in your life now. Rita, what does he have to do with this? Just don't tell me that you don't like him. Yeah. <sighs> I do, I do, but... This is an unknown number. Hello? Hello? Good afternoon, sir. Are we being official again? Andre? The one and only. I'd like to invite you to a wonderful concert. It's a jazz concert. I hope you're not going to say no. no. I'm not. That sounds great. All right, great. I'll pick you up at 7, then. I'll be waiting at the main entrance. All right, see you there, then. See you. Awesome. You don't even have to tell me anything. <laughs> Misha, I just don't understand why you want to work at our plant, son. For peanuts, especially. I'm telling you, I want to get back to Anya. That's it. To Anya. Go away. <laughs> All right, I get it. It didn't work out with that Natasha. Find yourself another girl, but a better one. Don't you get it? I don't want another better girl, Mom. Hello, I have a wife. Goodness, son. Who did you get this from? From Dad. Exactly, from your dad. The only good thing is that this Anya is getting an apartment soon. I guess at least she's good for something. You think this is because of an apartment? Actually, I just don't think so. Fine. Are you going to help me get a job, or should I ask someone else then, Mom? Oh, dear, Leisha. Life's not teaching you any lessons. All right. Fill out your application, then. Now you're talking. With what reference? Mine, of course. All right. Thank you so much. No, really, you gave me such a gift today. You can't imagine how long it's been since I last went out somewhere. Got it. In that case, tomorrow we'll be doing the theater. Tomorrow? No, I think we'll go to the theater, perhaps the day after tomorrow. And tomorrow, we're going to go skating instead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again for everything. Anya... Maybe we can still consider my offer concerning going to the restaurant. 
No, no thanks. Uh, it's a bit too late. Uh, I don't want to say goodbye yet. There's nothing good about it. My coat's stained. I got pushed on the bus. <sighs> However, you're glowing today. Is it that obvious? It's obvious. I haven't seen you like this before. Actually, you could tell me where you disappeared. I came yesterday and you weren't there. I called, but you didn't pick up. I'm sorry, Rita. Don't be mad. We were at the concert and then we had a long chat afterwards. So it's going pretty good? Even better. Mm. Well, at least one of us has it good. <laughs> what? From what I understand, something happened, right? I got sad somehow. I don't know. I broke up with Xenia, and I just don't know what to do with Victor. Mm, there, there, poor mm. girl. But there's one big advantage in this. I realize that I don't need anybody but my Victor. Good, he'll be back, and it'll be all fine. The worst part is, I don't think he'll ever come back. Hmm. But those you don't need anymore always come back. All right, I'll go. Hello there, Anya. Hello, Alicia. What are you doing here? I work here. <laughs> Why here? Why not here? A man's got to work somewhere, right? Besides, I want to be closer to you. Alicia, but why would you want that? I just don't want our family to be destroyed by my foolishness. Yeah? Don't you think you've destroyed it enough already? Hey, Anya, the shop master's looking for you. Yeah, I'm coming. No. Anya. Anya, we're not finished. How nice it is to wake up to the smell of coffee in the morning. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Pity that it's not a day off, right? That way we could make coffee all morning long. Yeah, well, someone's gonna be late for work now. So it's up to you whether you want coffee or... Everybody knows what to do. We can't fall behind schedule under any circumstances, so let's do it, guys. By evening, it shall be done. Take your places. You're late again, Anya. I'm sorry, I know, Mr. Oleg. I overslept. We don't have much time left before we commission the plane. We need to complete hydraulic checks today. Mm, all right, I'll do it now. Yes, prepare a full report on the expenses associated with the production of the new plane. All right, boss, I'll get Thank right you. to it. <sighs> Hello. Hello. What are the plans for this evening? I honestly haven't thought about it. It's okay, I already thought for the both of us today. I'm inviting you to my very favorite restaurant. The chef has already been warned. <laughs> You're going to have a fantastic dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds very tempting. All right, I just need to change and we'll go. Great, it's a deal. I'll, I'll pick you up at eight o'clock outside, all right? See ya. <laughs> go get changed.
Wait a minute. What happened? <sighs> Did you know that Anya has something with Mr. Svedov? What? Why do you think I so? I know, because I saw them. Now you've got proof? Uh -huh. Hmm? Now you've got it. You didn't believe me. Your Anya would do anything to cash uh -huh. in. It didn't work with you, and she switched to the director. Good yeah. job, well, well done. Well, I didn't expect it to be with the boss. All right, calm down. Just calm down. I'm already calm. No, you're not calm. First, calm down. Second, get divorced immediately. No way. That is something I'll never do. I will fight for her until the end. I am Anya's husband. Mm -hmm. And it's high time someone remembered that. Leisha. Leisha! Hello? Uh, hello there. Uh, where's Mr. Svedov? Is there a problem, sir? It's personal. I'll put you on the schedule. No, it's very urgent. Extremely urgent. Mr. Andre? Sorry. It's Krimov. Uh, Lisa Krimov. I'm Anya's husband. Come on in. Uh. Now I'm all ears. You better stop flirting with my wife immediately. Excuse me? I saw you talking to her. In the hallway earlier. Stop messing with our family. Look, young man, as far as I know, you haven't had a family for quite a well, while. Well, that is none of your business. We may be going through a difficult phase, but Anya and I love each other, so find yourself somebody else. Is that clear? Over. Let's do it tomorrow. All right, fine, I'm coming. Good evening. Are you moving in or what? Almost. I am Anya's husband. I came and she's not here. <laughs> Could you please give me the key to her room? How would I know you're her husband, though? Oh, I'll show you my passport. <sighs> hmm. Here you go. Hmm. hmm. Well, since you're her husband, <sighs> well, here is the key. Mm -hmm. Room 17. <sighs> it's around the corner, sir. That way. Thanks a lot. Yeah. 
subscriber is currently not available. You? <clears throat> Where's Anya? In the shower. Shall I call her? No, thanks. Have a good night. Mm -hmm. Have a good night, too. Yes. Oh, Anya, what are you doing here? Hold on, here are the keys. I'll open up. Oh, here you are. My goodness. Oh, dear. Why are you here? How did it happen? What happened? I don't even know, Aunt Polly. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Anya, what happened, dear? I don't understand this. Andre's phone has been switched off since last evening. He would have warned me if he couldn't come. Maybe something happened to him. Let's try and just call his office then. Someone there might know. Good idea. Hello? Good morning. Um, can I please speak to Andre if he's available? I'm afraid not. He's busy now. Oh, is he busy because he isn't at work? Or because he really is busy? I apologize, but I must hang up now. Ah. Well, at least we know that he's at work and that he's completely fine. Calm oh, down. Goodness. You'll get to work and find out everything. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I need to see Andre, please. Andre, hello? It's Anya Krimova. Tell her I'm busy at the moment. ashamed of yourself? Me? Don't act innocent. I'm talking to you. Or is there someone else having an affair with the director? <sighs> Violetta, I think that's none of your business. Actually, everything that concerns my son concerns me as well. Well, this has nothing to do with your son either. Our divorce is a question of time now. Yes, that's what you're saying now. You grab the director of the plant and think you've got yourself a lucky ticket, right? <laughs> Not even close. Your Shvedov is married. I saw his wife with my own eyes. She's pretty. A bright brunette. Very beautiful, by the way. And to top it off, she's pregnant. So your Andrei Shvedov is going to be a father soon. I don't believe you. Ask him yourself if you want. Or did you dream that he would marry you seriously? <laughs> oh, I just love your countryside naivete. Just think about it. Why would he need you? Just for an affair? 
while his pregnant wife is waiting for him back in Moscow. Who knows, maybe she'll decide to move here too, am I right? Best wishes, darling. Yes, Shredov here. Andre, it's Vladimir. Listen, I couldn't get through to you all day long. What's going on with uh, your phone? Is there something wrong with my phone? Hold on a second. <sighs> Sorry, Vladimir, it's my fault. I just forgot to switch it on. What a thing to do. I don't even know what to think. Andre, Andre, can you hear me? Uh, listen, Vladimir, uh, can I call you back later? Excuse me. Oh. oh, Andre, you scared me. Half Sorry, to death. I didn't mean to. Please tell me something. Uh, uh, perhaps yes. you saw one of our employees here last evening. She's a blonde woman named Anya Kromova. Oh. Huh? Here, what can I say? What? I, you know, there was an occasion, actually. It happened yesterday. Anya, she spent all evening here and she was shouting for help. The no, door was really? shut, something like that, something or other. I don't know. I told them a million, a million Thank times you. to install a new lock. A new lock, that one gets stuck. You see, listen, if I hadn't found her, she Thank would have you. had a fit. Just make we'll sure you change it. that lock right away. You see, listen. And Fisa, can I come in? Sure, Anya, come in. What happened, sweetie? Nothing happened, I'm fine. Uh, here's the heater I borrowed from you. I brought it. What's the hurry? You could bring it tomorrow. Um, I won't be here tomorrow, actually. I want to take a vacation. Vacation? Mm -hmm. Well, good. You could sure use a vacation. Uh, <sighs> Anfisa, thank you very much for, um, for everything. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Yes? And Fisa, I... Oh, oh no. Flowers? <laughs> yes. For me? Yeah. Wait outside, please, all right? Shh. I'll be ready sure. soon. Sure. <sighs> he invited me to a concert. How sweet is that? The flowers. <laughs> All right, now where on earth is my boss? Where on earth would my boss be? Well, I'm off. Yeah, and you'll go. Get a good night's rest.
Oh, hello, Andre. Good evening. Hello. Anya's not here. Where is she? She went away. Where did she go? She said something about a vacation. What vacation? Oh, Andre, I'm sorry. I really don't know. The subscriber is currently not available. Hello. Hello. You look radiant this morning. Did you fall in love? No. I'm just in a good mood today. The documents are mm -hmm. ready to go. Fantastic. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Violetta. How are you? How may I help you? Tell me, did Anya Kromova apply for a vacation at all? Vacation? Mm -hmm. If that's what you want to call it, yes, she resigned. She resigned? When? Just like that. She came in the morning, said that she's not going to work here anymore, and she left. Excuse me. Hello, Rita, can I talk to you for a second? Look, I'm sorry for bothering you right now, but you're Anya's best friend and I need to know. Tell me honestly, why did she quit her job? Oh, Andre, I really don't know what's happening, to be honest. I think maybe it could be because of you. Because of me? Well, yeah. It's just that as far as I know, you didn't answer any of your phone calls yesterday. You ignored them, and she was really worried. That's because I was a fool. I regret it. I thought she got back together with her husband. Where would you get that from? Well, what else would any normal person have thought? I went to her place. I saw him there, in a towel. Oh, that Leisha. She would never take him back. She mm. really wouldn't. But she couldn't just abandon everything and resign just like that because I didn't answer her phone calls, right? Perhaps Leisha told her something as well. Or maybe Violetta, right? Some sort of lie? What does she have to do with it? What do you mean, a lot? Don't you know she's Anya's... What? Mother-in-law? Tell me something, Rita. Where do you think I could find Anya? At her mother's, perhaps. Where does her mother live? Good afternoon, sir. Who are you looking for? Good afternoon. I'm looking for Anya. Anya doesn't live here. You know, she's been living in another city for several years now. Hold on a second. So, uh, she hasn't come home to you then? No, sir. She did call a few days ago, and she said she was doing great and all was good. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Did something happen to her? Uh, sorry for bothering you. I'm sure she's fine. I just need a word with her. I'll go try her place. Thank you very Have much. Have a nice day. <sighs> Anya, you need to stop crying and pick yourself up. You're so pretty and intelligent. You have it all, and true love will find you, dear. Mom, I don't want love. Oh, 
Take a deep breath, Anya. Calm down, sweetie. Time will pass and everything will be fine. You can go back to your own No, home. I'm not going back to Varnish. But what about your job, darling? <sighs> Mom, I can find another job here. <sighs> Don't you worry, Mom. We're gonna be all right here. <laughs> Hey, yeah, it's me. Finally, girl, you disappeared without basically saying anything. I didn't even know what to think. What a friend you are. I haven't heard anything from you for a whole month. Yeah, I'm sorry. I needed this break. I wanted to get away. I needed to sort myself out. Well, and did you? Nope. Not yet, but I do miss you so much. I miss you too, girlfriend. Listen, I've got good news. They finished the plant housing and soon we'll receive permits to move in. Are you serious? Oh, wow, congratulations. Yeah, I'm excited. You should have held for another week, too. Are you at your mom's? Yeah. <gasps> Listen, I ran into Leisha recently and I told him everything. Everything he deserved to get in life. He's such a creep, you know? Trying to ruin your life again. He has nothing to do with it. If not him, then who? If it wasn't for him, you would have been with Andre now. That love is impossible. How come? Because he's already married. And he's also got a baby on the way. you tell me you were coming? Because I wanted it to be a surprise. <laughs> well, it's an amazing surprise. I've missed you so much, baby. I know how much you missed me. You've been with Xenia, if I heard correctly. And me working day and night in Moscow like a fool for a new place for us. Victor, listen, I baby. dreamed that I'd come back and we'd have an entirely new life together. And I came back and I see that you have an entirely new life. Vic, Victor, listen to me. I thought you had another woman in Moscow and that you abandoned me. Oh, what, another woman? I work like a dog all day. <laughs> just, just don't lie to me anymore, come on. I know how much fun you have over there in Moscow. Anya's Lisha went to Moscow to earn money too and he quickly found himself another woman. Well, that's not my case. I was faithful to you. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you're saying now, because whenever I called you, you never picked up any of my calls. Oh, great. Putting the blame on someone else. Nice going. Victor. Victor, honey, I beg you. Forgive me, please. I know how bad I messed up, but I promise you that, that I love you so much. All right, come on. Come here. <laughs> The plant has produced the aircraft according to the order of the Ministry of Emergencies. The plane is capable of performing a wide range of tasks for saving victims in the emergency areas. Anya, Leisha's here to see you, dear. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, Madam, may I come in? Please leave us alone, please. I'm sorry. Thank you. <sighs> yes, what I did was mean, but I... I barely knew what I was doing back then, I know. 
Look, Anya, I was fighting for you and everything's fair in war, right? Lisha, it doesn't even matter anymore. Why doesn't it? Anya, why doesn't it matter? I've been thinking a lot during this whole month and I, I realized I can't live without you. Let's give it another shot, please. It would never work out. Neither of us will be able to forget anything. I totally will. I almost forgot everything already. Anya, it was so good when we were together. It was. Sorry, but it's all in the past now. It won't ever be the same way again. <laughs> Do you still want to be with him? Is that it? That's not the point. The point is, I don't want to be with you. Uh Well, Mom, let's have some tea. Sorry to call this number, but I asked Rita for it. Please forgive me. Oleg, hello. It's so nice to hear your voice again. I'm calling for a reason, actually. The aircraft salon will be opening tomorrow, and we decided to head over there in our newly commissioned aircraft. Great. Congratulations on that. Don't be modest. This plane is your creation, and in short, we're not flying without you, so come to the airfield as soon as possible. You're exaggerating, Mr. Oleg. No, actually, this aircraft is your achievement, and we couldn't have done it on time without you. You can't turn us down. Right, but it's also unexpected, and who else would be coming? You and I, and, well, actually, the crew, apparently. And that's it? Did you want someone else to come? Mm, no, not at all. That's a great team we got. Well, are you coming, then? Uh, I'll try to make it, if there's still time. You have to make it, Anya. I'll be waiting for you. So head on over. <laughs> right, I got it, Mr. Oleg. Consider me on my way there. See you in a bit. She's coming. For sure? Well, if she said she will, she'll come. <sighs> Thank you, Oleg. I really mean it. You helped me out a lot here. Oh, come on, Andre. It's nothing. I'll be very glad myself if she comes. Right. She worked through the whole project, and she truly deserves to see the outcome. I totally agree with that. Mm-hmm. Andre, this is the right thing to do. Thank you for your support. Finally, Anya. Mr. Oleg, forgive me for God's sake. The bus got stuck halfway there. It doesn't matter anymore. What matters is that you're here. Everybody's here and ready to go. The flight is in half an hour. Let's go. Sorry. Good morning, everybody. Oh, good morning. Good morning, Anya. Good morning. I'm glad you're here. Uh, yeah, so, um, hey, what time did this look? Uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Oh. I'm okay. glad as well. Okay. Well, what airline? Uh, all right. I don't know. Okay. That's fine. That's a good, I think it's going to be a good flight. I hope they have snacks, so I'm starved. <laughs> I think they only <laughs> serve peanuts. <laughs> I know a good joke. Two flight hostesses are talking. Uh, One of them says, I've only realized how important it is to fasten okay. the seatbelt. Why? The latest catastrophe showed it all. Those who hadn't fastened the seatbelts weren't even found. And those who had done it looked just like living people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Actually, pilots That's know the real conditions of our aviation better than anyone. This is why we're on the top of the list of the people who are afraid to fly. <laughs> I like this guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
A passenger complains about the food. Lady, if you knew the condition of our engines, you would have an appetite. Whoa! Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh what the? Ah! 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 What? You okay? Oh, dear God. Uh, Is everyone uh, all right? I think so. Uh, Anya, how are you? Uh, me? Uh, I think I'm fine, actually. Uh, what about Mr. Andre? Andre, are you okay? Andre, you okay? Oh, oh, oh my God. Whoa, whoa. Andre, 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 oh. my God, can you hear me, Andre? Somebody call the ambulance, please. Uh, uh, Andre, come on, open your eyes, open your uh. eyes. Hello, Doctor. Hello there. How's Andre doing? He's stable now, but he has a severe brain contusion. Let's see how he makes it through tonight. Then we'll know a bit more about his condition. <sighs> Can I see him, Doctor, please? Who are you to him? We don't allow strangers to visit. I'm not a stranger, Doctor. I'm his wife. His wife can visit him. Come on, I'll walk you there. Madam, I've got news for you. Your husband is awake and well. Thank you so much. All right. Look, let's throw away this clock. It's so loud that it can raise a dead man from the grave. No, it's an antique. It was my grandma's, honey. But why do we need an old clock in the new apartment? But we have nothing to put in there. What do you mean, nothing? Baby, you have me, and I have you. <laughs> what? Hmm? Can you hear my heart beating for you? That's the clock ticking, silly. That's what you think. <laughs> mm. Mm. <sighs> Anya, I'm so glad to see you. Bad timing, I'm guessing? It's never a bad time. We're just packing our things and moving to the new apartment. Oh, guys, I'm so happy for you guys. <laughs> Tell us how you're doing, Anya. <laughs> All right, I'll make some tea, ladies, okay? Well, did you visit Andre? Yeah, I just came from there. Well, and? He's fine, he's doing much better. Thank goodness. So you're staying in town, then? Uh, no, I'm leaving. The train is leaving in an hour. Are you out of your mind, girl? Anya, have you even talked to him yet? What for? It's not like it would change anything. So get well soon, Andre, mm. because we're lost without you. You'll be happy to hear that our plane was a real success at the launch, Andre. Was it really? Really, they promised to have us buried in orders. I never really doubted it. I'm so sorry, folks, <sighs> to interrupt your visit with the patient. But I have to remind you that Andre needs his rest. Yes, sure, we're just about to leave. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Take care. Thank you, thank you. Get well. Get well Thank soon. you, Sveta, thank you. All right, how are you feeling today? Better, better, I guess. That's good. Where's your wife? My wife? Why are you asking about her? Well, why wouldn't I? She spent all last evening by your side. Larissa? 
by Larissa. Her name was Anya, I think. Seriously, Anya, I think you should have talked to him. You were so silly to just leave. You, you had to straighten things out before leaving. I'm not even sure it would have made me feel better. Thank you.